What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 7 prediction video. Now that we have seen several promos, photos, and trailers for this season, we have a fair amount of evidence for us to get a decent grasp on what may or may not take place during Season 7. And I'm sure by now that most of you have read or heard about the plot leak that came out back in October. But there was also an extended version of that plot leak that came out about a month after that. And in that extended version, it appeared to have all the gaps filled in for each scene during each episode. So I want to take another look at one of those particular episodes because there were a few things that I've seen in the new trailers that may be small indicators that can determine whether this is going to be true or not. Because if this leaked episode ends up being true, then it's going to be absolutely insane and arguably one of the best ever. But that could also mean that Jon Snow will die once again. So let's read the scenes for this episode, then see if any of the released evidence matches up. Obviously, there's going to be some massive spoilers in this video, so proceed with caution, my friends. This leak is for episode 6, which is the episode right before the finale. Since this is a shortened season, then this episode should be one of the most explosive episodes in the entire season. The leaked episode says that Jon Snow, Jorah Mormont, Theon Greyjoy, Davos Seaworth, and Gendry arrive at Castle Black. Lord Commander Ed and Jon Snow reunite. Ed tells Jon that the Brotherhood Without Banners showed up at Castle Black earlier that day, and they were with the Hound, Tormund, and Brienne of Tarth. It says Gendry forgives Thoros and Beric Dondarrion for selling him to Melisandre. Beric then tells everyone that Jon Snow is Azor Ahai, and apparently Davos and Tormund agree with this. Jon tells the Brotherhood and the men from the Night's Watch about his plan to go capture a white. Davos plans to stay at the Wall and write Daenerys a letter saying that if she comes and helps, then Jon will lay down his title as King in the North. Next, it says that Jon and Davos give everyone some dragon glass that they were able to get off of Dragonstone. And after this, everyone heads north of the Wall except for Davos. Jon takes some wildlings and men from the Night's Watch with him. They end up running into a white that is walking alone. The Hound tries to subdue this white, but it escapes which causes the Hound to chase after it. The group of characters are able to corner the white between a cliff, a frozen lake, and the woods. But the white jumps off a cliff, and as the white is falling down this cliff, you can actually see thousands of whites climbing up it. And as this is happening, hundreds of whites start to emerge from the woods. So now John and his companions are stuck on the edge of a cliff, as whites are climbing up the cliff, and the whites are coming out of the woods, completely surrounding them. Thoros of Mir and Beric Dondarrion ignite their swords and begin the attack. The whites on the cliff make it to the top and start attacking the group from behind. Lord Commander Ed is killed immediately, as well as a few other men from the Night's Watch. White walkers then start to emerge from the woods, and one of them is riding a giant ice spider. Thoros of Mir is then killed by a zombie polar bear that seemed to come out of nowhere. The Hound tried to save him, but was unsuccessful. A white walker with dual blades starts to attack Jon. John ends up being killed by the White Walker after his ice sword is plunged into his gut. Brienne kills that White Walker with Oathkeeper. Jorah Mormont then walks over to John's dead body, and he picks up Longclaw and begins to attack. A member from the Brotherhood Without Banners is able to kill another White Walker with a dragonglass arrow tip. Gendry then smashes in the White's face with his warhammer. And this is when the Night King gets off of his horse and fights Beric with his flaming sword. After Beric is mortally wounded by the Night King, Daenerys shows up on her dragon, and she has Viserion flying right by her side. Drogon immediately starts to torch dozens of whites. And while this is all going on, Beric Dondarrion crawls over to Jon's dead body, and he gives him the kiss of life. Beric dies, and Jon is now alive again. Daenerys' dragons start to clear a path with fire so that the group can escape back to the wall. The Hound is finally able to subdue a white and take it with him. But one of the white walkers hits Drogon with an ice spear causing him and Daenerys to fly away erratically. The Night King then plunges an ice spear into Viserion's eye, which kills the dragon. Jon gets up off the ground and he picks up Beric's flaming sword, and immediately starts killing several whites. Jorah then gives Longclaw back to Jon, but Jon is nearly disarmed once again as he gets surrounded by more whites. But his uncle Benjen shows up, and he puts the injured Jon on his horse, and he whispers goodbye, nephew. As Jon rides away on Benjen's horse, he helplessly watches Benjen get swarmed by dozens of whites, and presumably killed. Right as the episode is about to end, the Night King raises the dead dragon Viserion, and right as the screen is about to fade to black, we see Viserion's eyes turn blue. 
Okay, so now let's look at the evidence and see if any of this matches up or not. Because if this is true, and Jon Snow dies again, this is going to be a crazy ass episode. First it says Jon, Davos, Theon, Jorah, and Gendry all arrive together at Castle Black. We have seen plenty of photos to prove that all of these characters will be in the same location at the same time. Jon, Davos, Jorah, and Gendry are all seen here together near this boat. And we have also seen Jon and Theon together on this beach as well, so it's possible that Theon does go to further proof his loyalty and continue his redemption arc. We also know that Jon will be north of the Wall with at least 12 characters, but there could also be more than 12 characters initially. Some people might have possibly died already before we see them here surrounded on the frozen lake in the trailer. So it's also possible that Lord Commander Ed and Brienne of Tarth go. We already know for a fact that Tormund, the Hound, Beric, Thoros, and Gendry are going to be there. We've seen most of them in the trailer fighting north of the Wall. Some of you have even said that this might be Brienne running alongside Jon Snow in the first trailer. We know that Brienne will show up at Winterfell when Jon is there, so he might tell her that he's going to need her in the future, so she could decide to go later on. Tormund might even get Brienne to go with him when he leaves. And it's also very likely that Jon will give everyone Dragon Glass. We know from several reports that there will be a scene where Jon Snow tells everyone that they need to get Dragon Glass and that it's worth more than gold right now. So Jon's most likely going to get as much Dragon Glass as possible while he's at Dragonstone because he knows that it can kill White Walkers. So since they're going to be going into White Walker territory, it would be wise of him to hand it out to everyone that he could. And it says that the Hound tries to capture a white but it runs and jumps off a cliff. And as it's falling there is thousands of whites climbing up that cliff. Now this is very interesting because in the newest trailer we see exactly this. You can clearly see Jon and his team surrounded by whites. And Jon's men are fighting whites coming from one side while Jon is watching all the whites climb up this cliff. So far this part of this extended leak is amazingly accurate. And this is when the White Walkers are supposed to emerge from the woods. We know from the trailer that they will definitely encounter some White Walkers too because we can see Jon Snow fighting a White Walker one verse one in the new trailer. And it also says that Beric's going to ignite his sword, which we now know is a fact because in the trailer we can see Beric up north with his flaming sword. You can even see the flaming sword right here behind Jon as the Whites are climbing up this cliff. So this extended leak is starting to look more and more accurate and it also says that Gendry's going to kill a White with his Warhammer. We know Gendry's going to be here and we know from the first trailer that he will also have his Warhammer with him. So this is probably true also. But I'm pretty skeptical about the zombie polar bear and ice spiders. I mean, we haven't seen any evidence of that, but that would also be kind of stupid to reveal in the trailer because that would be a great what the fuck moment for fans that aren't very familiar with that part of the story. Back in season one, Old Nan used to talk about ice spiders, so I do think we will see them at some point. I just haven't seen any evidence of that yet but they're going to be added with CGI so there'd be no way to see them while they're filming anyway. So if they're going to do it, it might as well happen in this already chaotic scene. But let's get to the big part of this scene, which is Jon Snow dying and a dragon dying. I know there's been a few other YouTubers recently starting to talk about Beric possibly giving Jon Snow the kiss of life this season. But keep in mind, I said this over five months ago when I released a video about this scene. So it's not a new prediction. But the big question is, is this going to happen? Well, let's think about it for a second, because in the books, Beric Dondarrion does give Lady Catelyn the kiss of life, which then resurrects her as Lady Stoneheart. So Beric having this potential ability in the show is book canon. Beric does have the power to do something like this, and since Beric is dead in the books already, he will most likely die on this mission, right along with Thoros of Mir. I'm not so sure Jon Snow's gonna die again, but the actor who plays Jon Snow recently gave an interview, and he said something that was pretty interesting in that interview that kind of gave me a weird feeling. Kit Harington said that Jon Snow is in mortal danger just like any other character this season, and there will be no more resurrections for him. Now you can take that at face value and believe that he's telling the truth, or that could be some more misdirection from him. This wouldn't be the first time that he's lied about the fate of his character. He could have said this just to throw people off. But I'm going to let all of you be the judge about that. I don't think Jon Snow is going to die next season, but that quote saying he won't be resurrected again kind of concerned me for some reason. So I'm just going to say that it's not out of the possibility that Beric will give him the kiss of life next season. But what about Viserion? Will this dragon die next season? The leak says that Danny will show up with her dragons. There were a few scenes from the new trailer that make me believe this is going to be true also. There is one scene in the trailer that shows the Night King on his horse. And he has like a knee-jerk reaction that causes him to look directly into the sky. 
which might be him looking at the dragons. Also, in one of the last scenes in this trailer, you can see Jon Snow staring down the barrel of hundreds of whites. But look behind all those whites. There are some big-ass fires everywhere. Now how else would these big fires get started all the way up here in the cold-ass north? We know Beric lit his sword, but would that really cause these big bonfires back there? I don't really think so. I think that was probably Daenerys' dragons clearing a path for the others to leave, just like the leak said. And it also says that Benjen's gonna show up and save Jon by sending him off on his horse. And the last scene of the trailer does show someone riding off on a black horse that looks just like Benjen's. So in my honest opinion, I think most of this extended leak is gonna be true also. Now that we have all this new evidence from the trailers, it seems to match up even more with this leak. I'm not so sure Jon's gonna die again like I said, but I do think a dragon will die for sure. The Night King will have an equalizer if he gets his own dragon. But what do you all think? Have you seen enough photos and promos and trailers now to think this is what's gonna happen? Or are you still on the fence about this stuff? Comment down below and tell me what you think about all this, because I find it to be pretty interesting to say the least. But anyways, thanks for checking out the video, I really appreciate that, and I want to thank my Patreon supporters also. I love you all, and I'll see you down below. Bye.